smell of shite is not coming out my arse. It's because it's coming out his mouth. And he thinks you're literally just sitting masturbating every night. Can you not? I'm a com confident man. Can, can you? Yes. Yes. Possibly. Possibly. Trash talk is for bin men. And do I look like a bin man? Go away. No. No. Save. No. No. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the football debate. Stop it. We, uh, it is, of course, the biggest sporting event in the world is happening this year. That's right. It is the Euro African Invitational Cup, the second year in a row between Mali and Iceland. Michael, last year, what a what a tournament it was. Ah, uh, it went right to the right to right to the wire. Right to the uh, final. Four one was it? It's three? almost as if that there was a different that there were no other games in that tournament. However, this year, it's more competitive, it's more Mali-ish, and definitely much more Icelandy. And there's definitely football. There's most certainly football. Speaking of which, you can't have a football team without a manager. So we've sent our good friend, John Deere, out to meet both managers and see how they have been preparing for this year's Euro-African Invitational Cup. Welcome to the second Euro African Invitational Cup. With me is Cecil McMichael. Cecil McMichael was the winner of last year's <coughs> tournament um, against Mali and Iceland. This year, how do you feel? I don't feel too bad, John. Uh, how about yourself? Ah, you know, she's not green. You can't be feeling too good though, because you know, you're sitting beside the current champ, soon to be crowned double champ. You a big goof. No, as. We did last year, as we will this year, as we will next year. You have a regime of getting yourself ready and prepared Aye. for this ultimate match. What is this year's regime? Well, we all know like Blonde likes to talk, and uh, I, I just let him talk away at the minute because I'm a man of action, and as you can see, there's few eyes up here, John. Uh, don't you get into it's shiny. Aye, well, uh, there's some good light. Do you think, Mr. Cameraman? What do you think? I just you nod the camera there because I don't you f***ing speak though. So tell me this Cecil, is that good old boot polish you've got in that or is it good old Mr Sheen? It looks like Mr Sheen but I, I don't want to confirm that in case you know your man takes me up for legal or you know legal reasons. See the fact of the matter is I don't know where Blonde is out there right now but I, I hope he's out there you know getting the boot polish ready. Alright Cecil before you get carried away with your um your your trick talk. I'm sorry. Uh, which we know you like You're to do. You, you like to trash just, talk. You know how I like to show it. You, you like your trash talk. Um, you know because you're a bin man and all. Bin man, yeah. How do you feel playing eleven men on a field? I can see see John when you get the thumbs like this. One on the left, the trio right there, and then the right goes the new Bago. So, his name's Sago by it going Bago. Just to keep wind them up, you know. But see when you have those two thumbs and they're linking like that there. And then they come together, John. And they're licking. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. That's a one in formula right there. How do you use your controls when your hands are like this? See, John. How do you control your boys on the field? See, John, I can't give you all my secrets because I know Blonde will be watching this. And uh, if I give away all the tricks to the trade, you'll get some <laughs> like f***ing Wordiola coming all up in the spotlight trying to f***ing take the spotlight here. I see, John, see, the other day I only had a phone call there from Cristiano Ronaldo. Trying to pledge his allegiance to Mali. Like, the man has over 100 clubs for Portugal. So I had to say to him, Ronaldo, there's no way you're getting on the left wing of f***ing cycle there in the goal. This year, do you feel it's more professional? Have you done more training? Or have you just decided that because you won last year, we're not going to try? No, John, the, the eyes are always on the prize. Like, you may think I'm looking at you right now, or you, Mr. Cameraman, but the eyes are always down here, always on the prize. Always. See, it's just the glasses, you can't really see what's going on here. But uh, my game face is down there right now. I'm using the prize the whole time, John. The whole time. I haven't looked at you once today. I don't even know what you look like. We're <coughs> now going to say bye to Cecil McMichaels until after the match. And uh, I hope he pets that umbrella. Thank you, John.
that was Cecil McMichaels, and back to you, Mr. Millen. I, I need the umbrella beer. this morning. Welcome to my second guest of the day, Blonde Cromington. Uh, hello, John. Hi Blonde, how are you? Hi, how are you? Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, last year you had a devastating defeat to Mali. What this year have you decided to change or um, skill up? Thing? In regards to the team, we've uh, we've a lovely new kit. It's lovely. It's a uh, it's blue. Unsurprisingly, um, but, but we've uh, we've made some uh, we've rotated the team ever so slightly. There's uh, there's some players they knew they underperformed last year and um, and they know who they are. Magnuson, um, so they 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 everyone will have a chance to show what they're like on the day. But there I have I do have a starting eleven in mind that was um, well surprise a few surprise a few. There's a lot of egos in that team, a lot of fragile egos as you know. Um, there's lads there. Whenever you're playing in front of dozens of people every week. Uh, shouting, um, you, you're sh you're sh it does does kind of break break the spirit a little bit. So it's my job to tell these lads that they are valued and they are vital, and that their country does in fact need them. Now, I was speaking to Cecil just before um, you came on, and he seems very worked up about it. He seems very mouthy. I believe is the word you're looking for, John. Mouthy, mouthy is the word I'm looking mouthy for. Mouthy is what he is. He, um, uh, pardon my, uh, pardon my Latvian. He, he's gluten that he won last year. This year is a completely different board. Not a completely different board. It's the same team, same. It's just you know polished a little. Mm. How do you think it'll be if you win? It will. Um, it'll possibly be the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, John. Will you gloat? Gloat? Will you be mouthy? Will you now, be Cecil? No, you know me. I don't want to. I don't want to be that man. But I haven't held that trophy. I don't know what it does to people. It's very much like the uh, like Venom, in the in the in the in the, in the, sp comic. In the Spider Man franchise, as you know yourself. Uh, he didn't know what he was getting himself into. As soon as he, just did, uh, you know, yeah. big big angry b yeah, So I may turn into a right cocky. A because you lost it last year, you may have that even bigger. The hunger's there, John. Yeah. The hunger's there, but that's yeah. and that's purely because I, I haven't had nothing but a hang sandwich so far today. But the 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 that's the physical hunger. The metaphorical hunger is is also is very much there. Um, I'm not going to eat the trophy. Obviously, that would be silly. Um, I have to win it first, then I can yeah. do whatever I want with. Well, blonde, I hope your team are victorious this year. Thank you very much, John. I know you're meant to be unbiased in these scenarios, but thank I, you very much. You, I appreciate that. You lost last year. I feel like a bad team needs a. Bad, te bad team. Not a bad team. What are you trying to say, John? I'm trying to say that I like Mali. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm taking these. Consider this interview over, John. This is two years in a row. You've dicked me about and wasted my time. And two years ago, where you've laughed at me, just like everybody else has laughed at me. So you look me dead. You look me dead in the eye, sir. Oh Jesus Christ! Was I wearing that? I'm wearing your own sunglasses at you. This is ah. You should be ashamed. Look at the state of these. State of these. As this finest, am I right, John? Am I right, aye? No. Where you get your best clothes for? You look me dead in the eye. I'm looking to tell you now. Thank you very much. Iceland backs down from nobody. We will succeed. And we will bet the ever loving sh out of Mali. And whenever I do win, John, you sit there. <laughs> whenever I do win, I take that trophy off Don Mouthy Walker. It will be him who will be suckling upon my testicles. Years you see it here first, Iceland with the determination. <laughs> Mr. Millen, back to you. This has been really, really forthcoming. Cecil McMichaels, uh, last year's victorious coach in the Euro-African Invitational Trophy. Um, how have, uh, in the past year, how have your side progressed uh, since winning? Has complacency kicked in? Well, in terms of the team, uh, that's, you know, I don't have to implant any more of myself upon them, for that matter. Because, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's up to the opposition manager to catch up with us. So, I feel we're in a good place, uh, yeah. And, but... Mostly about me, uh, the past year has just went incredibly well for me, it's really looking up, uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm currently about to receive the key in my hometown because uh, I've, I've recently got a, my own place moved out of my parents' house. Um, and uh, I've recently also been approached lately by a, a Malian businessman through email who wants to invest in me, which I find, you know, I've, I've had the most, the greatest honour basically after, you know, taking their team to the Euro African Invitational Cup. But, uh, people were saying me all the time, it's like, but is that not like the Nigerian uh, scam approach? I was like, no, mate, that's the Nigerians. Uh, we do not get associated with the Nigerians. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say really <laughs> to you right now. Well, in terms of the opposition manager, you did mention him there, uh, Mr. Blonde Crammington. Um, any personal animosity towards oh. Mr. Crammington? Uh, mm, say, I don't really like they speak too much about, you know, Blonde, because uh, I know he likes to talk and talk, and he does always have a wee thing to say about me, but uh, let's just say I've got uh, something special in store for him that I plan to embody on him. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Cecil McMichaels, Mali manager. You're welcome. Hello, Bond. I was wondering if you could elaborate on the current rumours about your position as Iceland manager being under threat. Rumours are just that. The only thing rumours to means to me is a fantastic uh, Fleetwood Mac album, which I highly recommend uh, you check out. And on that album, there is a song called Dreams. And that is what we have in this Iceland camp. Dreams of success, glory, grandeur and to become legends ourselves. So in response to your question, uh, yes, I do like Fleetwood Mac, yes. Good shout, good shout. Uh, football related only, uh, Blond. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does this trophy actually mean to you? Because that is something as well the people of Iceland have been questioning lately. How seriously are you actually taking this tournament? Well, I've spoken to the staff at Iceland and, um, the, the, you know, I, I take their sentiments totally at heart as I was getting my buy one get one free on on uh, crispy pancakes there but, um, yeah I, I will be doing this for them the boys know what's expected of them they know the value of frozen goods and they know what that means to themselves personally and to not let themselves down that's the important thing I mean yes the people of Iceland they they mean they are the reason why why we do this but I said to the boys look you have to put yourself first because no one else is going to do that for you. This is about you, this is about you 11 lads going out there and uh, cleaning cleaning these lads off the pitch, like wiping them out uh, in, a, you know, in a tactic that we call ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing because we're going to clean them off the pitch. You know, that's, that's ethnic cleansing. Very interesting. I'm sure Kerry Tonopitona will be very, you know, I, I did More speak to Miss Katona personally myself, and uh, from what I could make out amongst the drunken slurs, she was given given us all the the support that we require. Right, now we're off topic from football, right? Uh, let's go through the the list here. There's been Mystic May, Mystic mm. Mac, Mystic Cramington. Can we have your predictions on the final? What I will predict is glory, the becoming the great nation. Iceland once again and the Viking clap will no longer be what people get from a Norwegian prostitute it will be what those fans do as we take that trophy home any last words for your opposition manager <coughs> nice coat mate and Steve thanks for your time Crowley thank you very much thank you very much So which one will it be? It must be one or the other, and we'll know soon enough. The final about to get underway. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beckley. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Here we bloody well go for the second, that's two, year in a row. This man, this man has been taunting me for the past year with this marvellous piece of silverware. And you're, you're not getting it. 
Oh, that's big talk from a budgie. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, Michael, are you ready to go? Oh yes, let's go. Sorry, uh, are, would you, Michael, or do you prefer Cecil for the purposes of combat? Whatever your preferences. Wanker it is. <laughs> so uh, a good, 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 clean game. There we go. Just wipe that off. There sure. Just rubbing the nips there. That's fine. And uh, if we were just to show what this is all about. Yeah, I'll, it's my oh, it's Oh, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. This is what it's all about. This, uh, this, this joke that's gone too far. <laughs> Best of luck. That's Romario. <laughs> Romario has come to see this game. Uh, it was we tried to get it at the Maracanã as it was last year, but we kind of balls it up a bit because we are useless. Uh, we're at the Estadio San something. Oh, there it is. There's the shiny, this big ball shiny, also. shiny ball. Yes, sir. You take a picture. Oh, we should have done this at night. Although it is currently that is daytime. A very. That's a loud. That's a, a brave choice of kit. It's a brave so. choice of kit. Especially if you look at shorts, the badge is actually underneath the numbers. Uh, I don't like that. That's a bit. It. That's that's everything. But look at this. What a spectacle this is. Look at all the flat, the banners. Up on Mali. Where is it? Uh, budget ice pops for Iceland. Weather spoons. Weather spoons <laughs> for Mali. Oh, so we, oh, we must be quiet for the anthems here. Oh. Okay. Do you want a weather spoon? Still has text down for copyright. It's a nice stadium, to be fair. There are that is the starting lineup for the Icelanders. A lot of sons again this year. Many, many sons, none of which are mine. A couple of new sons, but uh, yes, uh, uh, many I would say a a, a a brave formation, an attacking formation. Many, a couple of new uh, triores. Many triores, and there's Bakary Sako scored in last year's Euro African Invitational final. These colours do not run, you're correct. Bell Ive, indeed. <laughs> and we've gone. That's a very nice ball. It is. And it's time to get underway. And we're on the way. Can only I'm sweating a little bit. It's very warm in here today. Uh, 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 in the stadium, I should say. Sig Torsen. Hit by Gilfi! And it's saved by the keeper. Sacco, right one for Triore. That's a good ball forward. Keeper, keeper! You're definitely not the same keeper as I had last year. He would have dropped that and thrown it into his own net all at the same time. I'm sure that's probably still the G Nightmares. Oh, it infuriates me no end. Oh, he's in! Sig Torsen! He's in behind! Hit it! Oh, he's put it wide! He's put it just wide. Early intent from Iceland. that rusty warm-up start. I don't know what's going on this Mali team, isn't it? Not listening to me. <laughs> Sacco now for the, the Malian, Maliites, the Mallows as we settled on last year. <laughs> Try all right, he's got a ball in, there's the header, break save by Christensen, but it's in, Mali have scored, Mariga has scored, with their first attack of the game, what is this, FIFA? Oh, balls, this is not happening to me again. Ball in, big header, nothing you can do about that to be fair. Where's the marking? The defence should be called in the question there. That's appalling. Great ball in. Big header, big Scored save. on the side of the stadium where there's no fans. There's literally nothing behind that backdrop <laughs> except a chip van. <laughs> a chip van part beside a statue for Mario. What a setting for the opening goal. Spin bug is on, can he get a bit of space to get the shot away? He can't, it's blocked. And clear eventually. So many songs. Oh, he spun beautifully! And that's deflected into the arms of the keeper. Should have just deflected. Yeah, had his one. That's deflected. He's not going to get on that, surely. Thank Christ. Oh. It comes. Oh, it's come all the way through. One of these. It's still got it. Still got it. He's got a block in. Ah, but he. Touch of a sexual pressure. One last chance for the right. Sacco, he's away from two. It's Sacco who's gonna shoot! And Christensen makes the save. Is there time for one last attack? No. How is there no stoppage time? Down on that. Half time and Mali have a lead. I would say undeserved. It really did. I'm 
I'm scared Hard. that was you know the ten minutes. I'm scared that this game's gonna fly into. And the stats are almost identical. Almost virtually identical. I can't believe this game. I made a promise to your missus that I would take that trophy out of my Well, it's just gonna have to level up. No change at half time, just straight back into it. I'd like to pass the ball away for 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, you, I, I would probably like, do that thing where I'd pick not do that thing, like, your hand. Online, like FIFA, when someone goes up, they just keep oh, the ball. Oh, unfortunately, you can't really put it because you live here. I do! More buttons are definitely on age. Get down the wing. What's up, where is Get this away. Please, Jesus. No, don't take a touch! Well, actually, you know, that's worked out very well, actually. Well done. Not where I wanted to play it, not where I wanted to play it at all, but we've kind of sort of got away with it. Why did he not close that time? Go on, Alfred. Ball it wide. Dink, dink. He's free! That's straight at the keeper. My captain. My captain, my keeper. Captain keeper. He's a hero. Gonna keep, keep opponents down to zero. More than it's a good thing we don't have a It's a lovely 90s showing to you. Chance here. Get the sh Oh, that's a great block. That had to be. Back in. Perfect. Oh. Oh, I was going to give away a penalty. Face the shoot. Big save by the keeper. It's a corner. I don't know. Let's take be down there. Or if I thought the Hulu down, you might throw balls. Mm. The fuck was it on risky? Jesus. Come on. This is like the first half you get the early. The corner in by Sigurdsson. That's going to nobody. I seem to be I'm having one of those games where I'm slowly going in each half. Save Arson. That's a heaven weather to storm. Teach you the ball wide. Here's the Think this in. There's the header. That's appalling. It's wide. I'll be honest, during the week I've been giving it. I've been Billy Big Bollocks all week. Mouth and off. And then he comes at me the day saying, oh, I was uh, doing all my tactics and stuff last night. But the ball comes in. Big save by Chris oh, I take this very seriously. He's very he's stealthy about it. He doesn't, uh, yeah, once you've won that trophy once, that's it. You just... Quiet for a second. Or, um, no, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> the net's not there. It's a Gerdson with the corner. Keeper. Keeper. Straight to the keeper. Jesus Christ. So he's making his own net. Morega, ball across, must be. What <laughs> the hell is that? Keeper. Uh, have you been watching Karius compilations or? Whoa. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've gone full Meldery, I don't believe it. Completely free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that I've never seen. And oh, i played about 100 hours in Pro Evo, I have never seen the goalkeeper do <laughs> that in all my time playing Pro Evo. I have never seen. It's like, you've just pulled that one out of the hat for this final, especially. <laughs> I have never seen that in the lifetime of like physics in a football game. I don't even know if we're like advertising pro evil right here. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I may be quiet, but it's just stewing and rage. Can bother songs a bit wide. Perfect oh. tackle. Man. That sums up the game defensively. Oh, yeah. I just killed a man there out of sheer anger and frustration. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a total one. Odd looking at the frustration there. Yeah, that's fair. That's just right, right now what you would like to do to me. Yes, and what I will do to you later. Can you at least get a goal? I haven't scored in a Euro African Invitational game yet. Ball comes in. There's the header! What a save, and that's going to be a f***ing goal kick! One is trying to waste two minutes. Time. This will be the last one. Oh, and he, ball in. he's on his arse. Oh, and he's back. That's it! And that is it! Mali have retained their title. The Euro African Invitational remains in what your capital city? Mali. Mali. 
The individuals who, as a team, blended Look into it. champions. Look at how they are. This Pure is joy. their moment. change but standards must remain apparently as Mali retained the most coveted trophy in all of world sports. Michael are you happy of your achievement that you've made me so infinitely I, I depressed? Just, I can't put it in the words it's just uh, I would like to thank myself in this and again you know just myself and yeah what are you saying? Doesn't even thank the team. Oh yeah, before you, uh, I got you something as well. I got you a bottle of Bailey's. Uh, thank you. You've got because I know you don't drink, so I thought, yeah, what better gift to give someone? <laughs> that's not a drink, Michael. That's a dessert. John Deere. <laughs> so, I was hoping you'd do the honour since you don't drink anyway. I'm pouring my trophy. Not gonna do that. I'm pissing it before I do that. But that is it for another year for the Euro African Invitational Trophy. From myself, from Michael, and from John Deere, our roving reporter. Hi. In the next one, who let him leave? I don't know. Come back. Where's this? Where's the handler? Get, get, get away from there! <laughs> <laughs>